What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Scum. Uh, a lot has changed <laughs> since the last video. If you guys have been following along lately, you will know that we uh, we went through two different bunkers and a uh, fixed tire right here. Yeah, we went through two different bunkers. We found a bunch of cool stuff. We found, um, what is it? Like the gold AK-47, the 1911 pistol, and a bunch of other great stuff. We had the uh, blue SUV. Did that fix it? Sweet. We're back in business, you guys. And, dude, we still have some left. Perfect. Let's just stick that in there. There we go. Yeah, we had we had a blue SUV. We had a bunch of cool stuff. We got the little cabin down by the lake. Uh, if you guys are new, that's what has happened up to this point. Now, good news and bad news. The good news is my gaming computer finally showed up. That's right. So this is uh, my very first video on my new computer, and it is epic. The game looks totally different. I loaded up all my other old games on Steam, and they all look fantastic playing on epic settings and whatnot. Dude, it is just like a totally different experience. Now, the bad news is, <laughs> for whatever reason, you guys, I brought over my hard drives from the old computer, and I installed them in my new computer right here. The problem is, every single game, it brought over the save files, but for whatever reason, my scum uh, save games, it didn't bring it over. So I had to start fresh. I had to start all the way from the beginning again. So if you guys will notice, my fame points are 140. And I left you guys in the last video at like 320 something. But yeah, anyway, I, you know, I wanted to wait till I at least had 100 fame points before I brought you guys back. So I don't want to start fresh like from the very beginning. So just kind of show you guys what I've got right here. I got the Hunter 85. Those are pretty common if you can find a deer stand then most likely you're going to find a Hunter 87 in there. The Cobra bow, that was, I just randomly found that in a house. And then cutting down some long sticks into short sticks and then making wooden arrows and then some feathers. So we made some arrows. So I used that for a little bit, but it's not very powerful. So I decided to just store it for now. Toolbox, just some odds and ends and whatnot. We do have an ax, small ax. Now, immediately I found in a police station, I found a block 21. And that has, let me see, yeah, that does have a clip with it, and that's a 45 caliber. So we're kind of back into business with that since uh, the last episode. Did you guys hear something? Was that my door, or was that something out there? I think it was just my door. Uh, last episode, I had, like, the M9 with a suppressor on it and flashlight. Dude, it was, it was getting pretty sweet, and I had the 1911. I had the custom engraved one as well. But I lost all that. We lost everything, you guys. So we're kind of starting over. And and that kind of leads me to this episode, you guys. Uh, tell me what you, what you think we should do. Should I continue in the single player like this? Because we're going to have to go back through. And we're going to have to hit up C1 uh, right here. C1 bunker again. And then we did the... Where is it? A0 bunker down here. So we've already done those two bunkers on this series. But I'm going to have to do them again because I don't have anything from them because I had to start fresh. So do you guys want to see me do all that again uh, in the single player? Or should I jump over into like a PvP server and start going that way with it? So you guys let me know what you want to do, what you want to see. And I will do that because, man, it is... Uh, oh, man, I can't even tell you <laughs> how disheartening it was. To boot up my brand new gaming computer just to load this game in and I had nothing. It's pretty disheartening, you guys. And I could have sworn I had a vehicle repair kit. Maybe it's down there at, at, at my cabin. But anyway, I went ahead and rebuilt the cabin. So that's good to go. We found a four-wheeler right off the bat, you guys. Pretty sick. And I can drive it one-handed with my pistol. And uh, also... Let's kind of show you guys my outfit here. We've got the uh, uh, Captain Gort Gorton's, Gordon's, was it? The fish stick guy? I've got his jacket. <laughs> got some yoga pants, which have zero store. Whoop, that's not what I tried to do. Hold up. Which have zero storage on them. Check this out. Look how amazing I am, though. I mean, <laughs> do you get better looking than that? Yeah, my pants have zero storage on them. Uh, we do have a fanny pack. I mean, you kind of have to with yoga pants, right? I've got a shirt, a jacket, or a sweater, and then our raincoat. Yeah, so I mean, we got stuff, but we definitely have a lot more to go. And I think I jumped on the wrong seat. All right, nailed it. 
So I thought today um, we would head back down to this little POI down here. It's just a it's a it's a little town. I almost call it a city. It is not a city. Now at some point we do need to make it into the big city, and uh, that's uh, it's not for right now. We were so close, you guys. I was gonna have the very next episode. I was gonna go into the big city up here in uh, D4 and D3. But then I changed computers, I got a brand new gaming computer, and my save files didn't come over. I got upset about it. I had my uh, seven year wedding anniversary. And then some family come into town. So like a bunch of stuff has happened since the last video in this video. So, so we're back in this now and we're kind of starting fresh. And I actually haven't checked here, you guys, to see if there is a... Is there a police station? What is this right here? I'd love to find a police station. This is not a police station. Uh, that's one down there, though. Sweet! We actually do have one here. Because I want to find better guns. Dude, I... Man... I was getting the epic, the most epic gun collection ever. Hold up. Oh, they're moving out there. Good lord. Let's make sure they're not behind it. Hold on. Oh, oh! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, hold up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, get, get, freaking. Dude, I can't go straight. Can I reload? Oh, this is terrible. Hold on. Oh, oh, my God. Hold on. Okay, can't see. Dude, uh, this. Oh, you guys, there's a pickup truck right here. No freaking way, dude. We got a truck. We got a truck. That's what I wanted this whole time. Even from the beginning play uh, 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 words. I'm so excited, you guys. Even when we started, I want a pickup truck. But we found the little SUV. And it was great, but I really wanted the truck. I really want this guy to die. Okay, wish granted. Perfect. You guys, uh, we got the police station. And we've got this truck. This is awesome, too, because blue is my favorite color. I actually kind of really wanted the red truck, but I am not going to be picky, you guys. Check this out. Anybody else want to go? All right. <laughs> Let's check real quick. I have zero uh, 45 caliber, so hmm, I'm going to put I'll put this gun away. We have the shotgun and the sledgehammer. Dude, you guys, check it out. So what kind of shape is this bad boy in? Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Okay, so the battery is dead. Um... I can't remember if I have batteries back at my base or not, but really we can charge up the batteries there and then we can bring it down. Uh, I know there's a, where is it? It's somewhere on this stretch right here. There is a gas station. Okay. So that's something we can do. All right, cool. There's a truck right here. You guys, um, let's go. Hold on. I'm really excited now. <laughs> I had not anticipated finding a truck like right away. I just want to make sure that my inventory is fairly empty because we're going to go into the police station. I have three lockpicks already. We got an epic screwdriver, two little noob screwdrivers, and then some safety pins. So we're good to go. So everything is just going to sit right there and hopefully it does not despawn. Please, God, do not despawn on me. And then we're going to come check out this police station that was around here somewhere. Here it is. It's kind of far away. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, you guys, I'm pretty sure I have... Whoa! I'm pretty sure I have batteries. Oh, oh, good lord! There's two of them. All right, we're we're gonna get out. Make sure we're reloaded. Okay, we got him. You want to go? Holy cow! This guy wants to go. Good. God, man, he jumped over the roof. Okay, so there's probably a guy right here. Yeah. Anybody else? I am. Everyone's after me now. I'm shooting. They all know my location. So we're safe. Oh, good God. Oh, my God. Shoot, shoot the freaking thing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Hold up. Oh, my God. That scared the living crap out of me. Dude, I looked in here and there's nobody in here. Did he come in through the window? No. Come on, bro. You want to go? All right, how many do I have? We got nine. All right, we're good. Maybe I can shoot through the door. All 
All right, get owned. Oh, you guys, good lord. That was terrifying. All right, let's just... <laughs> let's just pick this lock. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't think I've been that scared yet. Um, honestly, with you guys. 9 millimeter M9. Okay, you're going to have to give me an M9 gun if you give me an M9 clip, right? Yeah. I'm sure they're going to. Oh, that was kind of tough. Let's check it. Wow. that I mean, that really made me jump. 50 cal. All right, we don't have a 50 caliber gun gun but i got the ammo for it it's not bad it's not bad nine mil and a key card for b1 now since i did start fresh you guys i had to start with a new character because i don't have you know i don't have the saved game files so i had to start over um i did start with a new character and i upped the uh his intelligence a little bit so engineering skill check it now in this playthrough, we can go through and make the uh, improvised workbench. And I think with that, I can make... Uh, I think I can make... Oh, no, this is advanced. I thought I could make ammo with them. Maybe... Yeah, maybe maybe not. Maybe I'm just making crap up. Hmm. But uh, the place I built... The place I built my cabin, where home is... Oh my gosh, come on. There's like a drill press and everything there. So we can make ammo... Another M9 magazine with no M9. Oh my god, dude, you scared me. Alright, so let's just check this out real quick. We got some shotgun. I'll take it. And then more 9mm, but I need a 9mm gun. A respirator. Mm, I'm going to pass on it. Another backpack. So I am taking these backpacks because one of you guys was telling me I can hold the backpack in my hands. And then whenever I find stuff, I can just do this little number, boop him down right there, open inventory, and I can actually fill him up, right? It's pretty sweet. Like, I can just put everything in the backpack, and I can just grab the backpack. So I can have my inventory full and a backpack inventory full and run back to, uh, to base. Now, right now, I'm too heavy because it weighs more than my backpack. So we just got to hold on to it. Hope that we don't get... Our face is wrecked while exploring this. And you guys, I am still figuring out. This is a brand new computer. It's brand new to me. I've never recorded on it in my life. So I'm still trying to figure out like the settings, like what the best settings are. I had everything like on Epic and playing the game and everything. It was awesome. But recording, I use uh, OBS to record my videos. And it was kind of, sometimes it was like perfect. And sometimes it was a little laggy. And I don't know if it has to do with, like, my bitrate or what. Like, I'm still learning all that crap. There's so much to it. I, I thought it was just, like, hit record and then put out some videos. But, <laughs> no, it, it's uh, it's quite a bit more difficult than that. So, a big learning curve. I am learning it, but I'm going to get it, you guys. We're going to have the most epic-looking videos ever. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I really actually enjoy Oh, 45. There we go. I really enjoy the uh, learning process of uh, getting new equipment and everything and, and figuring it out. Okay, so if we... Yeah, that's empty. All right, so what I need to do is grab this little guy right here, unpack the ammo, load the clip, throw the paper away. Who needs it? And then put the clip back in here. How much do we have? We have 13. All right, cool, cool. All right, and then we pick up the backpack and we carry on. Now up here, most likely there's going to be a bad dude. Oh, there's not. There's another backpack. Holy cow, you guys. All right, so let's just place it down right here. Take out some bobby pins, make some of this stuff. Yeah, so it it kind of really sucks, you guys, starting fresh. <laughs> I mean, I, was, I made it so far. Uh, but the the positive would be I we learned a lot. So oh, this one's hard, dude. Good Lord. We've learned a lot, so I'm able to take what I've learned in this series so far and apply it to this new playthrough. So I am excited to bring the knowledge with me. And we got a pickup truck, you guys. Like, that is epic. Here we go. The M9. It's about friggin' time. 62%. Hmm. I guess that's fine, right? Now, we can grab that 
And I know for fact, it's in here, in our backpack, we have an M9 magazine. We've got, actually, we've got some up here, don't we? This is, yeah, this is 9mm. We can load it in there. We can unpack this 9mm and we can load it in here. It's kind of cool how you can stack ammo. Uh, put that away. We'll hold on. We'll hold on, hold on to that paper just in case. And then, boop. Now we've got nine mil too. With fifteen rounds, pretty cool. All right, so that's it for the uh, safes here, you guys. So we got another pistol. We've got this amazing backpack, which I need to actually click and drag into my hands. If I look at it and hit F, I'm going to equip it and unequip. Uh, my current backpack, which is not what I want to do. So, let's actually... Was there anything in here? Oh, I'll take it. Let's actually head back this way and go back to the four-wheeler and the pickup truck. All right, awesome. So, I'm actually going to store this. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I'm going to put the backpack in the truck. I'm also going to put my 9mm in there with uh, my 9mm ammo. Okay, that should be good. And extra bobby pins. Perfect. Yeah, so this truck is right here. We're going to jump on this bad boy and actually, let me check real quick. Just real quick before I head back. Because I did make storage back at my cabin and I can't remember if I told you guys or not. I did actually remake the cabin. We got batteries right here. Um, let's take this guy out and look real quick. Do we have any more batteries? Hmm. No. That's fine. So, uh, with the little tiny batteries we have, we can actually charge this a little bit. A tiny little bit. We had two little tiny batteries. Did that do anything? I actually don't want to start it until... Yeah, that did nothing. Now, my... Uh, Oh, man, my driving skill is up a little bit. Let's see. What did I put it at? I put it at, uh, I think, medium. What was it? Basic, I think. I'm halfway. So our driving skill is up a little bit. So it may it may start right up for us. Because the higher driving skill we have, the, uh, the, the faster vehicles start and everything and don't give us troubles. So I'm actually going to empty all this stuff real quick. And I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to dump it all in the truck. I'm putting all my eggs in that basket. All right. Awesome. So we've got two backpacks in here and then just some goodies. Great. Now I'm going to try to start it up. If it doesn't start, no biggie. I will jump back on the uh, four wheeler, but please start. Oh, it just, it rolled a little bit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Start. Start. Oh, you know you want to. Oh, it didn't. Dang it. Okay, that's no problem. So we're going to go back through. And uh, I think... Oh, man. I think at my cabin... I've got more batteries. We'll go check it out. I will be right back. Stay. Let's go check it out. Hopefully, no battles have spawned here. Doesn't sound like they have. Perfect. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I greatly appreciate you guys stopping by for another one. And, you know, I wanted to have more done before I brought you guys back. But honestly, it's been a week since I've played this game. It took me two days just to get files transferred over and OBS reinstalled, microphone settings. Like, it's been a big uh, ordeal just getting this new computer up and running. And it also been super busy with work, too. Here's a vehicle repair kit. And... Oh, I got batteries in my other chest. There we go. I've been storing stuff in here too. So we actually have another tire repair kit. I don't remember grabbing that. Weird. And then our saw and stuff. So a lot of the stuff also respawns. But I've been using it for storage too. And I don't like keeping things in there too long. Because I don't know if... Uh, like if, if when things respawn, I don't know if it completely like changes out my inventory. You know what I'm saying? Like if it, if it removes stuff that's in there. Also, in the boat, we found a rebar cutter. I actually found it in, like, this chest right here. And I thought I would put it in the boat just so uh, just so it wouldn't despawn. And then we have it for when we need it. And I'm keeping all my fishing stuff in here, too. We got fishing floater pack, 
times two different styles, I guess. And then we got some fishing line, 0.12 millimeter, 0.25 millimeter, 25. Yeah, sweet. So, um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I can't remember what I was saying. Other than it has taken me a long time to, uh, to get this back up and going. But you guys, make sure that you subscribe if you are not, because then you'll be notified whenever I release more content. And a lot more content is coming your guys' way, because with a new video, uh, new video, my gosh, with a new computer I got, I'm able to put out, that's not, uh, don't charge battery, don't repair. I'm able, I'm able to put out a lot more content, you guys, because, um, I'm able to edit record and edit things faster like like you guys don't understand hello what what i was going through previously my old computer was a nine-year-old computer i would record for about an hour and then to uh edit the video and get it out to you guys we were looking at about a two to three hour turnaround time like that's a lot of time per video that's why you only see like one video a week it was taking me a couple days to get the stuff out and most of that was due to my old computer not being able to handle the uh, video editing software well now with this new amazing computer I tested a little uh, file out the other day it was almost like I could edit like in real time it was sick so I'm thinking I'm hoping you guys I mean based off the test it's promising that I will be able to edit things super fast which means this guy wants to go. I mean, he doesn't. Which means I'll be able to get out a lot more content because more of my time will go to finishing. I'm, I'm confused. Do you want to go or do you not want to go? More of my time will be put towards editing videos and being able to record videos. Oh, good God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot believe they just got me. You freaking. Dude, my gun's jammed. Shoot the freaking. Dude, this episode, what is going on with this episode? It's like all of a sudden everything looks better and then I'm getting attacked like crazy. Oh man, okay, uh, not wanting to store. I need to change my underwear, but first we should probably charge these batteries. Good Lord, you guys. And again. Oh, good Lord. All right, uh, did I put stuff in here? I think I did. Yes sure did now we can take this and repair oh i'm so excited you guys we're gonna have a pickup truck now i've never actually driven one of these so i don't know if it's better or worse man this thing has seen better days did i not just repair this bad boy all right uh a four-wheeler i'll probably come back and get you but right now i want to check out this bad boy oh cargo drop perfect where is it it's behind me oh it's back up towards home Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, it's back this way. So let's go. Come on, baby. Start. Start. Oh, come on. Dude. Yes, we got it. Oh, we're driving it. Oh, sounds sick. Listen to it. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, this thing sounds really good. All right, I've never actually driven a truck before in game, so this is a new experience. Now, where, where's this guy at? He's coming out over here, right? Oh my God. All right, let's just, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, good. Uh Dude, where's this cargo drop? Let's get out. Let's just have a look around. Oh, here it is right here. Perfect. Sweet, you guys. All right, uh, this is probably probably going to be a lot of good stuff. So let's just store some of this stuff away just to free up some inventory space. We don't need these empty batteries. We are going to need all the bobby pins so we can make some uh, lock picks. 
so we can tackle this amazing airdrop because dude these airdrops have been so good to me it's ridiculous Let's just use all of these there we go and then craft all these and i'm hoping to find some food honestly you guys like i need guns and stuff but also need some food i'm gonna keep this parked back here you just you never know you never know Let's actually go back into first person, grab our shotgun so we're ready, make sure we're loaded up, and boop. You know, I have not actually experienced any puppets inside of the airdrops. Now, I've heard that that's a thing, like, you gotta watch out for it because they can be inside and they wait to attack you when you open it. I have not experienced that. A chainsaw? Um, I am only going to grab that for the gas. I'll show you. We can empty the gas into the car or into the truck. So, pretty cool. They're perfect. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we've got full a full get up. I think I'm actually for once going to wear a full outfit that the airdrop gives me. Oh, and a and a large backpack. Okay, perfect. Let's check this guy out real quick. Ooh. Yeah, I also want to be playing some uh, PvP too, you guys. So if you know of any servers that aren't like super trolly and they're okay for noobs, like put it in the down there, you guys. Let me know because I would love to jump on a server and play with some of you guys. And also play in a server where I can maybe team up with some people to help me get stuff. A katana, I'll take it. That was great in the last series or last playthrough. Uh, but, you know, also be able to just kind of like be on my own without being raided and robbed every second so yeah i don't know if that server that kind of server exists honestly a winter ghillie suit dude that'd be cool to go to wear when we go to the uh winter biome and okay let's grab the chainsaw let's come back here to my truck i should probably park a little closer but i'm not going to and then uh check this out i think we can come right here and fill fuel. And it takes it from my chainsaw and puts it into the truck. And then we can take this bad boy and just leave it there. Uh, I'm just, I'm not interested in it at all. Um, now, I do, what is this? This is a tracksuit top. So does that replace my shirt? My shirt has nothing in it. So if we equip that. Oh, no, 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 no. It replaced that. So let's actually... <laughs> Let's grab that out. Tracksuit top. It's kind of the same thing as far as uh, storage goes, but we're going to look better because we're actually going to match. Now, pants, we've been wearing yoga pants, so we can 100% equip these. Now we have pant storage, which is awesome. Put the yoga pants down there. Equip the beanie. We can actually put these guys down there. And the ghillie suit, that's pretty cool. And then this is how you start cluttering up your inventory, you guys. You just you just start dragging stuff in there and dropping it in the inventory. There we go. Yeah. And then before you know it, you got like a cluster, you know what, inside your inventory. And then it takes like a full in-game day to <laughs> get, get everything organized. All right. So, oh, we got one more and I didn't. Dang it. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's actually grab this in our hands. There we go. Grab some safety pins while we are over here. All right, so I made two lock picks. That should be enough because my lock picking skill is so legit. Yeah, see? Perfect. We only needed one. Give it to me. Oh, my God. <gasps> Dude, look at this. So the katana is on the ground from just a moment ago, so we'll need to pick that up. But dude, you guys, we got we got like a full Desert Eagle setup here. What in the world? 357 ammo. We've got uh four clips for the bad boy. Good lord. Look at this thing. No way. 357. It'd be cool if it was the 50 cal. But I'll take it. Let's load that up. Uh let's see, what does it take? Is that nine? Dude. Put the rest in there. Stick this guy right here. Nice Desert Eagle flashlight. Mine. Desert Eagle red dot sight. 
mine. Dude, let's look at this real quick. How much time have we got left? We've got plenty of time. All right, let's look at it. Dude, look at this. Mmm. That's sick. Oh. Whoa. Ga, 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 ga. Dude, that's cool. It, it was a pretty decent find. Um, In the last playthrough... Dude, where are you? I guess we'll just grab it like this. Last playthrough, I didn't find much 357 ammo. I actually, I found like two boxes of it through like what six episodes and then a bunch of off-camera exploring too or looting and so i didn't really go with it last playthrough now i'm hoping that with all these clips it'll last me a little bit but i don't know if we're going to stick with the uh the the 357 variant of the deagle we might as well use up the clips that we have because i mean why not right Dude, that's pretty cool. And we got our pickup truck. So, but anyway, you guys, thank you again, like I said, for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for your support in the channel and on this little playthrough. So, I kind of showed you guys my uh, my cabin again. We did rebuild that. Yeah, I think we're coming down this way. We need to hang, stay right. Oh, oh, good lord. So I showed you guys the cabin. Um, I did go back, you know, this time around, this playthrough, I spawned over here and I, I found the four-wheeler and I took the four-wheeler all the way back over to our original base location because that was a good uh, positive that we uh, learned through the first playthrough was kind of the perfect place, for me anyway, where to build my base. So I knew right where I wanted to go, found a four-wheeler to make it happen, and so I didn't have to waste a couple episodes trying to figure out where I was going to build my base, you know? Like, I knew right where I wanted to go. So, off camera, I made my way over there, rebuilt my cabin, laid it out a little bit differently than last time. Alright, so we're going to take a right up here. So, yeah. Uh, and also, we just found the Desert Eagle. We found a brand new setup, or a brand new outfit, rather. We found the truck, which is fan flippin' -tastic. So, yeah, this little playthrough is off to a great start. And, yeah, I think the uh, gas station is down this way. So, you guys, once again, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And then let me know. Put down there in the comments if, uh, if I should jump over to a, like, PvP server and play. And if you guys know of any good ones, put them in the down there. Help me out. Otherwise, we're going to keep powering through the single player playthrough and I'm probably going to play like as soon as this character dies then that will be the end of this playthrough and then we can um, revisit oh, a little lag something just loaded in we can revisit the uh, the, the scenarios what we're going to do like jump over to a pvp or do another playthrough with a different character and what you know different stats and stuff so anyway oh we're going to pass the airfield ooh Maybe that's something we should do. So I really want to, um, in this playthrough, I really want to go through the uh, World War II bunkers with you guys. Kind of do stuff that we didn't get to do in the first playthrough. Like, we found this truck. I found the SUV in the last playthrough without you guys. So in, in this playthrough, we are already ahead. We found the truck together. And then um, I'm going to go through the World War II bunkers with you guys. So that's probably something I'm going to... Uh, we'll probably do that next because I really want to try to get as advanced and you know flash forward as much as possible to where I was before and that means getting some of the World War II rifles the uh, uh, what was it this wasn't the Mosin was it it was the M1 yeah I get the M1 and that kind of stuff and uh, okay I really thought there was a gas station over here is there not I think it oh, I think it's the other way yeah, there's an airfield right there. The airport. Ooh, I don't think we're ready for it. I don't even know what's there, but I already know we're not ready for it. All right, so I think the gas station's up here. I'm going to grab some gas. Our battery is charging up. That is great news. So I think we're good to go, you guys. I feel like... Uh, yeah, I feel like everything's going to be perfect. Like, this is going to be a great, solid little playthrough. Uh, if we could just find the Gerstern gas station. I know there's one on this road somewhere. And I don't think 
things are like procedurally generated. I think buildings are kind of in the same place every time. There it is, right there. Perfect. All right, sweet. Yeah. So I'm going to grab some gas. I actually don't have a sniper rifle right now, so... I know I keep trying to sign off you guys, but this is this is getting exciting right here. Uh, two. Let's check it. We've got nine shots in here. Okay. Let's do this little number. Actually. Let's do this. How loud is this bad boy and how epic is this bad boy? Nine shots? Okay. Now I'm waiting to see if uh, one of these exploder guys is going to come out at me. Just keep my ears open because you hear him laughing. And it's quite terrifying. Is it me? Or I saw like two or three guys over here. There's one guy right there. There he is. Oh, he's right there. There he is. Nice. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Anybody else? Trash bags. I think the coast is clear. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not a uh, exploding guy here. Dude, we got a whole POI down there. Looks like there's a church there. Cool. Uh, yeah, I might go loot a lot of that stuff off camera. And then work on getting uh, kind of back to where we were. With all the epic guns. But I will bring you guys back uh, for the World War II stuff. For sure, the bunkers. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you guys. And I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep busy looting and getting all the stuff going off camera. And then I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys. Man, you guys are fantastic. I'll see you in the next one. This is the Goodish Gamer signing out. Oh, that didn't give me much gas, but whatever, I'll take it.